Welcome back to Fishing with Big Nasty. Today I'm going fishing in my pajamas. Why? Because I'm just walking down the street. There's a creek literally 25, 30 yards from my house. Why well, haven't I never fished here before on video? Well, I have. Um, I was throwing some uh, beetle spins and stuff last time I did it, but didn't get any content because no fish will bite it. Today I'm going back to my roots, old school. Before I was uh, about 12 or 13 years old, I didn't know there was anything else to fish with other than bologna. So I got bologna and bread. And that's what I'm gonna fish with today. I got one rod with me, no hooks. Um, other than the hook on my rig right here. So, um, I am now to the creek. When I started the video, I was at home. I see fish. So let's see what happens here. Y'all stay tuned. This is the creek. See the fish swimming? Darting everywhere. There's a lot of green sunfish and bluegill in this little creek here. And it's uh, really, really clear. Uh, these fish startle easy, so... I don't know how this is going to work out, but we'll see. I'm just literally going to sit down on the side of the creek bank and fish with uh, some bread and uh, bologna. Like I said before, uh, when I was a very young kid, I used to fish with bologna all the time. And, uh, it worked quite well. I don't know how they make bologna these days. I don't know if it stays on the hook any better or worse. But we're fixing to find out. These fish are very shy in this creek for some reason. Maybe if I can get it up here where they can't see me. I might get a little bit better bite. I'm sitting down. Look at there. I'm getting a bite. I'm getting a bite. There we go. There we go. I got a fish. Ha 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 gonna be a little small fish but I got one uh -oh. look at there creek chub look at there didn't take very long at all he liked the baloney so that's number one all right I'm putting on another piece of uh, baloney I just tore it in a little sliver. Stuck it on there. Didn't get any bite on the bread. All right, there it is again. They're hammering that bologna though. Wow. Don't surprise me. Most things you use when you was a kid still work. kind of threaded on there probably not good to use thick bologna on this because you would have to kind of thin it down a little bit come on baby boy there he is that's a better fish that is a better fish there looks like a Ooh, green sunfish. Real pretty green sunfish. Look at the color on that sucker. Ha! Oh, he's got a lot of color to him. Hey, boy. Talk to him. <laughs> With a green sunfish like bologna, too. I might have fished that whole lot. These fish don't like to see you up here. I'll tell you that. If they see you, they're going to hide. Stuff's sometimes tough to deal with because uh, it ain't really hard if you know anything about bologna. It's kind of got a weird texture to it. All right, there we go. Boom, there he is. Come on, baby. Another sucker. 
Christian, here's your sucker fish, boy. You like sucker fish? There they are. We know where to get them now. All right, I walked up this creek just a little bit just to see if there was any more pools. It's not very many deep pools up there to fish. It, uh, it's mostly a little bit deeper down here. But I think I'm going on the other side of the bridge to see what I can pull up out of there. I'll have a place to hide. Okay. Here we go. I see a shed of a crayfish down there or a dead crayfish right beside my core. I think I'll go down there in just a second just to turn over some rocks to show you how easy it is to catch a crayfish down there. May as well. Might give y'all some comedy factor here. Alright, so I got wading boots on, so I'm just going step on out in this stuff and show you oh, I just saw something I don't know what it is catfish hang out a lot under these rocks too you'll see baby 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 catfish I think that's where they hide until they get big enough to survive on their own they're going to be mostly where they can climb up under the rock and come out at night. They're not going to be hemmed up in there where they can't move. And sometimes you'll just simply see them crawling around. They'll be foraging for food. They don't come out a lot during the day, but they will. Oh, there goes one. See him? See him right there? He just crawled in between those rocks. He was a pretty nice one, too. Right, there he goes. Come on out, baby boy. Come on out, baby boy. He's a little angry. There he goes. Got some good red tips on his pinchers. Uh, he's trying to get me. He's not bad. He's not huge, but he's not bad. That will be a good one to fish with right there. A real good one to fish with. Um, Christian, I'm sorry, buddy. I told you I'd catch you something to keep, but I don't have anything to put them in. So, um, I'll just have to come back another day and get you one. But That's the way you catch crayfish. Turning over rocks. So, um, there he goes. So they appear to be closer to the spillway here, the little fall. Well, people, I'll just be honest with you. The crawdad fish ain't going as planned. So um, I'm probably going back home. But hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And maybe on a future episode, we'll catch some more crayfish, a lot more, and show you how to fish with them. Take care. See you later. For the climb back out. Ah, getting too old for this crap.